Hello everyone, this is Kay with Japan National Tourism Organization. I've been fortunate enough in my years with the Tourism Board to be able to travel all over Japan and see so many incredible off the beaten path destinations. And now I want to introduce some of these destinations to you and show you how you can recreate these experiences for yourself. So the next destination that I want to introduce to you is Aizu Wakamatsu. This is in the northern part of Fukushima Prefecture, and you can easily access it by bullet train by going to Koriyama Station and then changing to a local line to get you to Aizu Wakamatsu City. Once you get there, you can take in the local sites such as the beautiful Tsuruga Castle, and here you can walk the beautiful garden grounds or go all the way up to the top of the castle where you have a beautiful panoramic view of Aizu Wakamatsu City. This is an area with a really deep samurai history, so there's lots of places where you can experience that for yourself. This is a great place for you to stay in a traditional Japanese inn known as a ryokan. In the Aizu Wakamatsu Higashiyama Onsen area, you can stay in one of these traditional ryokan and enjoy the mineral hot springs and take in some of the beautiful local food uh, with kaiseki dining. And you can also, for less than $100, call a geisha, or in this area known as geigi, to come and entertain you while you eat your dinner. And the geigi in uh, Fukushima are very special because, as every geisha in each part of Japan tells different stories and sings different songs, uh, the geigi in Fukushima tells stories about the deep samurai culture and history including stories about the samurai warriors of that area known as the Byakotai. And they'll do dances that are very specific to this area, including one with a samurai sword. It's a very special experience and definitely not something that you want to miss. 